She's break dancing again. She does like the on her back spinning like a lunatic. She just that's how she does it. It looks like you can almost see at times like her contraction. Her yeah. yeah. Wow. She probably loves that we're all watching this. I know what a good view. <laughs> what a view, right? She's like, thank God I've got some privacy. <laughs> no one can see what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Aurora giving birth, she's a pro at it now, so she likes to do these weird, like, spin moves. She lays on her back, and she kind of, like, all of her limbs are going everywhere, and she's spinning. It's super weird, but super cute. It kind of looks like she's breakdancing a little bit, and it ends in a cub coming out. Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my god. It's a good-sized baby. I know. She's like, hi, baby. Look at it. Can you stop? I get Hello, it. Hello, Mom. <laughs> Boy, it looks good. It looks really big and strong. Wow. So now all the anticipation of waiting for this cup is over, and now we need to start checking the boxes. Are we seeing good movements? Are we seeing nursing? Are we hearing good vocalizations? So those are all the things that we're looking for here in the first couple of hours. Oh, mom's grooming. Oh, you hear that? It's like a human baby. And it's adorable, and then it also makes you want to cry. So the first nursing is really important to let us know that the baby can find the nipple and knows what it's doing. So it's trying to do that right now, and Aurora's doing her best to kind of help it up. Oh, Lord. Yeah! Survival rate for polar bear cubs is about 50%. So right now we are in full monitoring mode, watching every move, watching every nursing, every single thing that's happening, just to make sure that what we're seeing is what we want to see. You hear it? Mm, I do. Mm. Mm, it's such a good sound. It's really neat to watch these bears who are 800 pounds with a little one pound nugget. And right away, she's showing that she knows exactly how to move around that cub, and she's doing great. She just moved it. She held, she, yeah, she uses her paw and she pressed it up against her oh. face and, and repositioned it. Sounds good. Good. That's a strong kid right there. I know. That's exactly what we're looking for right now. That's a great way to spend Thanksgiving, isn't it? You know, it's the culmination of a full year's worth of work between the breeding season and then getting these bears all fattened up and then going into denning. There are so many people that are going to be happy to hear about this, not just us. But that's... But that's it. Just one baby. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, it's been about six hours now, Yeah. so... For, I mean, for her, she always has it within, yeah, it what? Yeah, three to four. If She's it is like, just gonna be one cub, super... it'll be neat to see the difference in mothering style. Yeah. Since she had yeah. twins last time. Yeah, and we've seen everything else, right? Yeah. We have not had less than two cubs born here in my time at the Columbus Zoo. They've all been twins. And all of our bears have been born within three or four hours of each other. So we're really surprised. But polar bears can have between one and three cubs at a time. So it's not abnormal to only have one cub. It's just a little different for us here. And with so few births worldwide, any cub is really a success for us, and it makes us really happy. Next steps, we definitely want to see some more good, strong nursing. We'd like to hear this continue, for sure. We don't think at this point that Anana's pregnant, but we're not 100% sure. So through the cubbing window, which is the end of December, we're still going to keep her in her denning space and just keep a close watch on her. But we're starting to think maybe she's not pregnant. I think everyone's going to be most excited about Lee being a first-time dad. I think so, too. After 20 years. I think so, too. So I can't wait to tell him. <laughs> That's awesome. This was not my plans for Thanksgiving at all, but I am so thankful for this little baby turkey. Thankful that Lee got the job done, and just thankful that I'm able to spend my day doing this, because who else in the world gets to be watching a brand-new baby polar bear cub on their Thanksgiving?